Good morning, YouTube. Here with you on this Thursday morning. I uh, finished my video watching. Have caught up with everybody. Um, the uh, I promised I would make you a video on this radio, and I'm going to kind of do two at once here. As you can see, uh, this is still here. There's a good reason this is still here. I do plan on more testing with it. Uh, I think I alluded to the uh, little phenomena I had uh, with it uh, when the, when it shut it off. I had basically unplugged it from the um, Variac uh, outlet there, which basically let the, the the voltage go down kind of at a slow rate. It was just draining, you know, whatever energy was there off the capacitors. And I noticed, like I said, the, the more the voltage went down, the louder and clearer the radio got because it was still hooked up along with the modulating MP3 player. And it just, there right before it went off, it was like super loud. So now I don't expect it to, to do that all the time. But what I had planned on the, doing here is taking the uh, Variac over here, as you can see. And we're going to dial around and see what we kind of voltages we're going to have the uh, the voltages monitored just like they were before and we'll kind of keep track of it that way and see where the uh, you know I'm not, not worried about the uh, Variac uh, voltage because I'm going to be you know obviously when I get it done I'll be plugging it into the outlet but uh, at least I can then see what kind of B plus it works best with and uh, even the filament voltage, maybe the filament voltage is a little too high. I don't know why it would be. The 12 volts would be right for a 12 volt tube, I would think. Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's some of the things I got planned. Also, I want to make mention of uh, Robert Gibbons um, contacted me this morning. He emails me pretty regular and said that uh, there is no... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? No capacitor necessary for the input of the audio because if you look at the schematic, and I will flash a picture up of the schematic. You can see that uh, on pin 8 of the 12SA7, which is the audio input for the oscillator, um, there is nothing connected to it. It's just, you know, it's no. there's no DC voltages there. So, uh, really, no need for a capacitor there. There's nothing to block. So, that's kind of what we're going to go with. Uh, I'm, I'm, I was thinking, I, I wondered because, you know, I thought, well, you know, they, they advertise this as being able to hook up to your MP3 player or whatever. And so I, I had to think that, well, you know, surely they either forgot that or something, but that's the reason they don't have one in there is because there's really no need for it. So, all right, that is that's what we're going to be doing later on. Now, this this uh, I promised you a video on the radio that I bought, and that's what I'm going to deliver. Uh, first, I wanted to kind of go over the uh, I did I kind of skipped over the Eclipse uh, 180 Pro, and this is actually a good little mp3 player because um it's you know naturally it's a mp3 player <laughs> but it does do other things as well and uh, it has uh, the ability to um be used as an fm radio it has fm radio on it you have to use it with the headphones obviously for the antenna but uh, like i said that does have that ability it has the ability to act as a voice recorder, and that is the primary reason I bought it. Uh, I paid uh, almost twice as much for that one I did buy, and I've lost it. It's went somewhere. I have no idea where it's at. But even it had a glitch, if you remember, it had a glitch in the audio sometimes. So this one, I, I used this the other day to make a, a narrate part of the video, and it worked well, very well very happy with it and like I said it does play that it does video play it has a video player I haven't checked that out yet but uh, I will one of these days and like I said it has the uh, camera which uh, <laughs> kind of sucked but <laughs> you know 
it might be all right as a still camera i don't know but anyway this thing is uh is a, was a good bargain it was like i said 978 i paid for it shipped and uh it uh you know comes in retail packaging as they say and uh so I, I was very pleased with this purchase and it's going to do everything i want it to do so i'm happy about that now oh here's the uh even came with a uh this is something for chinese so came with a how to whatever uh very nice laid out and uh well it's upside down but other than that uh, whatever it is but anyway it, it's it's readable it's you know so a lot of this chinese stuff that you get you can't even read the uh, instructions on it so all right now on to the main event um this is the uh now you you, you guys can pronounce that if you want tiv tivdio uh whatever it is i don't know the the name they came up with but whatever it does work I had this thing last night uh, before I went to bed. I turned the computer off in the living room. And I had this on in shortwave. And I had WWV on 5 megahertz coming in just as clear as uh, bananas with this little uh, rod antenna. Or uh, whip antenna, whatever you call it. But uh, this thing is another uh, really good bargain. This is the box it came in. So you can see it does you know decent decent for chinese now you know when i say these well, this is the best radio that i've owned uh, i'm talking mainly about chinese radios um here's the instructions for it again not not bad uh you know for like i said chinese to english translations and things it's not bad at all so, you know, I've got to go over and, and find out exactly how to, to use it. Most of it you can figure it out on your own, but, you know. Um, anyway, that's got to be done. Uh, like I said, now this thing does a lot, okay? It's a portable AM, FM, shortwave radio, okay? MP3 player, speaker with bass sound, and it does have good sound to it. Automatic or manually saving radio stations. Now, I don't know about the automatic, but... Uh, <laughs> I know you can manually save them. Uh, 9 to 10 kilohertz selectable tuning steps. That's for wherever you're at. Uh, radio mic line in three recording mode. So yeah, you can you can do voice recordings with this. That's another thing. Um, delete recording file and radio station function. Uh, 1,000 uh, micro or milli is it milliamp hour char rechargeable lithium lithium battery. So. It does have the battery, um, kind of like a cell phone, that you put in there. So, but like I said, that that to me, for less than eighteen dollars, seventeen seventy something, I think I paid for it. Um, that is a bargain. I mean, it is just just a really really nice radio. Um, digital display, and it, it is true digital. It's not uh, the analog type digital. And uh, again, the uh, radio itself works fine. I had uh, I did a little DXing last night on AM as well. I was listening to a few stations uh, that uh, you know normally don't come in. But uh, like I said, this is uh, uh, not a bad radio. Let me see if I can get uh, WHAS in Louisville. And it's still on uh, AM. From last night I think so you can just type in directly the uh, frequency if you know it and I like that so not coming in real good this morning but I'm, I'm in here where the computers now you know so you can hear it Of course, it'd have to be turned away from the... Like I said, it's it's not perfect. But most of my radios don't pick up WHS very well in here, especially with the computers on, so... Uh, 1290, or 1390, I'm sorry, is our local station. Of course, it picks that up, no problem at all.
So that's that. And we'll get off of this a second here. All right, now like I said, it's uh, it works very well. And uh, I'm just thrilled to death with this thing. I've been looking for a radio like this for a while. I looked at the uh, Sanjian and, and the Crane, C-Crane uh, radios. Those are good radios. This is on par with those, I think. You know, you guys might disagree with me, but uh, it's, it's a really good radio. Uh, the Radio Geek is the one where I learned of this one. He uh, did, I think on Saturday, last Saturday, he did a, a video on this. And I thought, for that much money, I have to have one. So I went ahead and bought one. So that's a, it's just an excellent radio. So I don't know what else to say about it. Um, like I said, that's uh, going to do that. I just kind of wanted to do an in-depth of, uh, what do you call it? And I will put the uh, picture of, of the uh, website where I got it, and I'll put a link down below to both these products, the Eclipse uh, MP3 player and the uh, radio. And uh, we'll see, you know, you guys can see if, if you like like those types of things. Oh, here's the, uh, it comes with a uh, USB cable like they all do. Now this one I like because it has the same exact uh, uh, plug that plugs into the radio for the charger that my cell phones use. Both my cell phones use the same one. And that way I can just charge it that way. It does have the, uh, like I said, the rechargeable battery too. So, and this little, um, I never noticed it really too much, but there is a um, little, uh, <laughs> what do you call it here on the, on the back that supposedly lets you prop it up. Oh, you can't even see it. Let me turn the camera down a little bit. There you go. It's propped up now. You can just leave it propped up like that. That's what that's for, I think. It's kind of like a kickstop or whatever. But uh, uh, don't see myself using that much. <laughs> but it's there. And that's what that little black thing was for. So Anyway, I am very tickled with that. And uh, like I said, I, I, uh, I wanted to do this video for it. So I have done it now. And uh, I've already went over 12 minutes. Which um, I'm getting away from my... I was doing pretty good on my 9-minute video or my under 10-minute videos. And then, of course, this uh, this project here messed that up a couple of times. So um, I'm still trying to, my best to keep it that way. But uh, sometimes I have to talk a little bit more than I usually do. Watched a uh, video from Buzz1151 last night. Uh, if anybody follows Buzz, uh, you, you'll know that he has not been on very much. In fact, not at all for, what, a couple of months. And uh, uh, apparently he had some health issues and um, some other problems and basically just got tired of the grind, he said, as far as doing a weekly video. Now, if, if anybody has not watched his videos, go back and watch Le Buzz1151. I'll put a link to his channel down there. Um... He puts a lot of work into his videos. I mean, he does these things really nice. And he's got uh, Dickel, um, <laughs> which uh, is funny as all get out. But uh, like I said, and uh, the, uh, I just, you know, I'm, I'm sad that he's not going to be posting his uh, weekly videos. But at the same time, um, he, uh, I understand. I mean, you know, that's a, that's pretty much, you know, a grind if you're, you know, uh, it's not really your job. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's just a fun thing, and it's supposed to be fun. And I'm the same way. I feel like if it's not fun anymore, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. That's, I'm retired. I, I can do what I want, and fun with my, my thing. <laughs> so, um, anyway, you guys, uh, understand that and buzz his channel is all about basically uh restoring old radios and electronics uh he said he will still do them once in a while but not to the weekly uh schedule that he has been following so uh also don i'm a junk collector posted a video this morning um he uh, talking about uh some of the uh, health issues he's dealing with and his daughter's dealing with. And uh, so, you know, I understand that. And uh, we all, you know, are getting older. There is nobody on earth that is getting any younger. Um, some of us have, uh, you know, uh, really up there. 
<laughs> I'm thinking of you, Bill, old 64 goat. <laughs> but, uh, no, Bill's still doing pretty good. And, uh, like I said, it's just, uh, we're all kind of trying to support each other here and, and, uh, and make, get by best we can, so. Anywho, I just thought I would mention some of this stuff going on, and, uh, even Matt, uh, over there, uh, M MYBR31, um, uh, has got some stuff going on, so everybody's got, it seems like the winter time is the worst time of the year, I mean, things go on, and you have to deal with them, and, uh, I, uh, I wanted to show you this here before I forget. I, uh, I was measuring uh, wire out for the, <laughs> had to measure this exact length of the wire. They said specifically, make sure you make it this, this length. And I, I thought, well, you know, rather than trying to get that tape measure out every time, I'll just put a, a, a little scale here, a six inch scale, which, which I did. It uh, come in handy. I could just do my three and a half inch or my two inch or whatever I wanted to do. And I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. But, uh, like I said, and uh, props to uh, Ron C. I might as well shout out everybody. I got this back up, uh, buddy. And uh, I, I think I got, I, I removed that rubberized thing out of there. I'm thinking maybe that will uh, make it better. And I did some grinding on that uh screw to make sure I could get a decent uh, fit on the uh, thing, but now I can't get that off. <laughs> it won't come off. It's too... I gotta I gotta take it off and use the... Uh, just the socket with the... Uh, uh, my little adjustable wrench and I'll tighten it up that way. Then I can get the socket off and everything, but I thought that was kind of funny that I couldn't get it off, but... Uh, uh, anywho, that's uh, that, and I think I've got everything that I wanted to talk about talked about. And uh, I'm up to 17 minutes now, so. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'll just kind of make this a vlog, I guess. Uh, I wanted to do a little demo of the MP3 player plugged into uh, my uh, my MP3 player up here. And you guys, I don't know if you're hearing that or not, but it's it's over there just playing this little heart out. Uh, I've got this going the wrong way, but you can see it, I think. It's over here. You can see it. Um, like I said, I've, I wanted to put plug that into there, but you guys heard it last night on the uh, transmitter. You heard it playing. So it does play very well, and so does the radio. So, All right, I'm going to get this done and uh, get on with the next little experiment, which is back to the uh, AM transmitter. Yeah, there you go. And I like how, how easy this uh, is to move around to this uh, camera. So I'm, I'm, I'm using the Sony Bloggy once more again. Uh, I just like the way it works better than the Kodak. The Kodak is fine if you're shooting a certain scene where you know it's going to be stationary and everything's fine. You can set it to where it needs to be set. But just like that uh, last assembly uh, video I did of this, Wally was happy uh, was kind enough to point out that it was blurry. <laughs> and I told him, I yelled at him, I said, well, why didn't you tell me it was blurry? <laughs> so uh, I'm sure he's thinking, well, I just did. But uh, yeah, I didn't have it on macro. And you know, with this one, I could have used this one and you could, now it may take a minute or two to uh, uh, get the adjustment as far as the focus is, is, is concerned, but you can, you can pretty much do this one and it will auto focus and get in there and it, it's got a much better close up in my in my view anyway and like i said some of you guys may agree <laughs> you may not agree i don't know but uh, i i just like this camera i'm gonna start using it a lot more so that's that's gotta be it right is that gotta be it oh am i going the wrong way with this yeah, i am going the wrong way well there's the it's a tight shot you know, the touch function of the Sony touch, bloggy touch is not as well received, I don't think, as I think it should be or something. Anyway, that's uh, going to do that. And uh, like I say, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I do appreciate you watching this crummy video. <laughs> and Wally, I'm hoping it's not blurry just for you. So you guys have a great day. And thanks for watching. And we will see you. 
the big, the big black hole, folks. 